name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. A bunch of fishy little girls. Family, too. Is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, as long as you're burned, you're not going anywhere. For spies, top secret clearance is just the beginning. SCI, the right to view sensitive, compartmentalized information, is reserved for the most trusted people in the intelligence community. That kind of access comes with fewer constraints, limited oversight, and a frightening ability to do real harm. getting a little jealous of that badge. I remember when you couldn't keep your hands off me. Waited years to see my name on this again. Now that it finally is. A psychopath blackmails you into using it to destroy files on the CIA's computer system. And when I do this, Anson Fullerton goes back to being a ghost. I don't want you doing anything for that man. If I don't do this, Fee, You'll spend the rest of your life in jail for something you didn't do. You think he's just going to hand over the evidence he has on me? He'll keep forcing you to do his bidding. There is no end to this. That is a possibility, but right now I don't have much choice. Well, I'm not willing to throw in the towel yet. Can you call Anson? Tell him you need to meet? For what? Make up a reason. But if you can get him away from his car... Sam and I can plant this tracker. We can follow the rat back to his nest. Anson's not going to hide blackmail material under his pillow. Well, maybe we get lucky and he does. It's too risky for him, maybe. It's even riskier to do nothing. We can't win if we don't play. Eighteen bucks for a mojito. I mean, what kind of a tourist trap is this? A tourist trap with a good view of Michael's meeting place. You're wishing that was a sniper rifle, aren't you? Can you think of anyone who deserves a bullet more than that soulless bastard? Uh, well, for now, let's just stick to finding out where he lives. Okay, here he comes. Break a leg, Fee. Michael, you look tired. Laboring on my behalf, I presume? You better walk and talk. Can I buy you lemonade? Answer my question. It's a little delay. A delay? You have the official access and the tools to erase my name from that file. Why isn't it done? Clearance is being held up. It shouldn't be long, but no. What do you mean, no? There's a great sentence in your cycle, though. It says, Weston is particularly skilled at social engineering, creating rapport with targets and steering them towards an objective. I know your moves better than you do. I don't know what you're planning, but I'm not going to fall for it. I can't see them. Am I clear? We're good. Mike walked dancing out to the dunes, so yeah, go for it. Friday. Having my name erased from those files by Friday or Fiona gets used to taking group showers. He's turned around. Get out of there. No, there's still a way to do this. He's headed to the bridge. He's going to have to cross the line of columns. I'll catch him there. Worst 
best places to approach a target trained in counter surveillance. Without having to worry about driving, their full attention is on their surroundings. They can use their mirrors to pick up tails and check the area for surveillance teams. But if you need to plant a tracker on someone who's on the move, you have to go the extra mile. Anson's not stuck in traffic. He's making another stop. All right, good. Show us where you live, Doc. Come on. No. Looks like he's just going to the dentist. Well, Sam and Fee are on his ass. He's bound to go home at some point. Just relax. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Ma. What are you doing here? I couldn't do this on the phone. To what? What is it? It's Andre. He was shot. He's dead. What? When? Last night. Who's Andre? He was my best friend since childhood. Oh, Jesus. How's Ricky? His brother's dead. He sounded like he was in shock. He wouldn't know if, if he would come by. Look so sweet back then. It's easy to forget what a little hellraiser she could be. You know, growing up, Andre only started you two as family. I am so sorry, Ricky. I thought he was still in jail. When did he get out? Eight months ago. I kept saying he was going to call you, but he wasn't. I guess he was out. He never got around to it. It's okay. We hadn't talked in a long time. You know, I know you two had your differences. I guess you'd have been surprised. I mean, Andre turned his life around. I'm really glad to hear that. It wasn't a hollow promise this time. I mean, he, he was working in the community, trying to make a difference. All he wanted to do was make his little girls proud. Do the cops know who did this? Honestly? They don't care. They just figure Andre got back in the game and got killed for it. But I know that is not true. Andre made some mistakes, but I've always known he had a good heart. You should eat something, honey. I'll make you a plate. Ricky, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you don't hesitate to call me. There's one thing. I need to talk to you for a minute. Outside. I found this burner in Andre's car. He got five calls from a block number yesterday. If we can figure out who made them, I think we find this killer. Why didn't you give this to the police? Come on, man. Cops don't cut their coffee break short to find out who called a dead ex-con in Overtown. I have a friend who can trace the block calls, but are you sure you want me to do this? You might not like what we find. Now, I know you gave up on Andre a long time ago, and I get it, but I never did. Now, I just need to know the truth. The 
advantage of having a GPS tracker on a vehicle is it allows you to stay close to your target without being seen. Okay, Anson just turned left again. He's back on Biscayne. Again? Yeah. Guy's driving around in circles like he's Pac-Man. Well, he must be worried about being full of Maybe he's finally going someplace important. Okay, he just turned right. Okay, he stopped fourth and out. Fee, get there. Let's go. The disadvantage of following someone without visual contact is that when they get out of their car, you've got to catch up in a hurry or risk losing them. There he is. Damn it. Dollars to donuts, he's heading home. But there's no way to follow him without getting made. If we get a better vantage point, we won't have to follow him. Oh, feet. No, 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 no. no. Three blocks, 11 o'clock. Now we know where the bastard sleeps. Yeah, well, don't spike the ball just yet. It's got to be 300 units in that complex. We can't just knock on every door until we find him. No, but it's a start, Sam. Whether it's espionage, international gun running, or managing a local street gang, the preferred method of communication used by people involved in illegal activity is the burner phone. Cheap and disposable, that can be used a few times, then thrown away. Which means, if you're using one to trace someone, you've got to move fast. So, um, I had one of the techs at my firm trace the calls on your brother's phone. That house right there, the white one. Did you get a name? No, no, the calls came from another burner. Last one was about a half hour before Andre was, uh... All right, let's go find out who he was talking to. I'm way ahead of you. Figure I'll take the front, you take the back. You got one for me? Um, I was thinking you should stay in the car. This is kind of about... Whoever's in that house either killed my brother or set him up. You don't know that for sure. That's why I'm going in. Slow down. There's a chance whoever's in there might know who you are. And you asked for my help. Trust me and stay back. All right. Do you think? It's a good idea to keep your initial contact with someone who might be dangerous, non-threatening. You're a lot less likely to get shot at. I have my gas and electric. We got a report of a leak in the area. Hello? Although just because something's less likely doesn't mean it never happens. You and Andre were friends. How could you? Why did you kill my brother? I didn't kill Andre. Why were you trying to kill me? I didn't know who you were. Hey, who did you think we were? Who killed my brother? I don't know. I ain't telling y'all anything. Let me go. Let's take a little ride. I know you're not feeling chatty, but we need to have a conversation. I don't like cops. To tell you a damn thing. No, we're not. But we're happy to take you to them, along with this. Come on, Dolly. We both know a convicted felon can't walk around with a gun. You ready to go back to lockup? Dolly, listen to me. I promise none of this comes back on you. 
I just want to know who killed my brother. Dion Carver. Dion's a gangster from the Magic City Overlords. I guess Andre got back in the game after all. I don't know. Andre wasn't doing dirt. He's been on the up and up since he got out of prison. Y'all heard the shot caller of the Overlords got killed last month? You know, the street's been hot ever since. People pointing fingers, stirring up old beefs. Andre said the only way to cool things down was to find out who really did it. He figured out it was Dion and got killed for it. You told Andre who did it? How did you know it was Dion? Dion and I, sometimes, you know, we see each other. And one night he comes home, covered in blood, carrying two duffel bags. I thought I was asleep. I looked in the bags when he was in the shower. I've never seen so much cash. So Dion robbed and killed the leader of his own gang? I told Andre, I knew. I thought that I was helping, and now Dion's gunning for me. You can still help, Andre. First, we need to find someplace safe for you. Mike, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we're gonna take down Dion, like your brother wanted. Seriously, Mike? You stashed Dolly at your mom's place? Yes. Now, can we borrow the Porsche or not? Listen, Dolly knows everything we need to pin Dion for killing that gangster. She should be at the police station spilling her guts. No, Dion and the OG he killed were like brothers. It'd be his word against Dolly's. And the words of known junkies aren't worth much down at the precinct unless we can prove Dion had motive. And to do that, we need to get him out in the open with the stolen cash. Now, Dolly said he's gearing up for war. I already called. Told him I have a friend selling heavy weapons. He is ready to meet. Okay. Okay. Listen. I hate to bring on this parade. Dion's not going to make a million-dollar deal if there's a witness out there that knows how he got the cash. We're going to make the deal too sweet to say no. Yeah, you hope. But saying that... I doesn't... turned my back on a friend. And now he's dead. I can't make that right, but I can take down his killer. We're going to get Dion to bring out the stolen cash, and we're going to take the cash and Dolly to the cops. Now, I'm not asking you for permission. I'm asking to borrow your car. All right. Under one condition, I make the approach. Mike, this is way too personal for both of you. Ricky has to be there to make the intro. Someone's got to keep a level head. I should be the one that goes in there with him. All right, Jesse, you're in. <laughs> Still broke up by what happened to Andre. He was like family to me, man. You have no idea how much that means coming from you. What we got here? Dion? This is Khalil. Friend I was telling you about from Los Angeles. What's up? You run guns? I run security. You ever hear about a rapper getting busted on a yacht with the 50 cal? You can probably blame my ass, okay? Let's just put it like that. What you got for me? I'm glad you asked. Hey, the man asked me a question. May I please? You got me trained. I like that. It's a Desert Eagle. It's the most powerful gun on the streets. And it is a cap gun compared to what we're selling. I'm talking USAS 12s, RPGs, body armor. Night vision scopes, you name it. We're calling it the, um, the what, the, the Scarface Deluxe Package. And, oh, but wait, there's more. Everything half price. What's the catch? My dude wants to unload the whole shipment for a million. And what am I supposed to do with a million dollars worth of artillery? <laughs> Use your imagination, man. What, you arm your whole crew to the gills? You sell the rest. How much an M60 going for in the streets right now, Rick? Let me see. Let me get out my little calculator. Um, oh, a lot. 
You quadruple your profit, dog. Think about it. You never make that slinging dope, dude. Why am I sitting here trying to convince this dude, Rick? I thought you said he was a player. Hey. Oh, boy, this dude is standing right in front of you. He the biggest player in overtime. Look, I get it. I see this all the time in the music biz. Talented cats. Spotlight comes on. He shrinks up. Can't everybody handle the big time. It's all good. Look, I'm sure you can get your hands on some Mac 10s, maybe a couple street sweepers, but guess what? So can everybody else you got a beef with. I'm trying to provide you with the opportunity to separate yourself from the pack. But I can see you ain't ready. So have a nice life. I ain't say no. All right. Now, first off, I want a demonstration of what I'm buying. And I want to meet your supplier. And if it turn out that you wasting my time, partner, knowing Ricky ain't gonna help you. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I feel you, D. A tough reality of surveillance is that no matter how many hours you spend outside of a building, you can't see through walls. So if you want to learn which unit in an apartment complex your target is using without raising his suspicion, you need to find someone else to go in for you. College campuses are a great place to find a highly intelligent and enthusiastic workforce. The student body may not get up before noon, but they'll be eager to give you their free time if you can come up with a worthy cause. Finally, we've been contacted by a group with an exciting proposal to fight corporate waste. Guys, join me in welcoming environmental attorney, Mr. Charles Finley. Thank you. Thanks, Dakota. You know, it's really heartening to see so many young people working to save the world. But did you know that there are some wonderful opportunities to do some good right here in Miami? For example, there are some condo complexes with carbon footprints that are larger than Sri Lanka. That's a country. Mr. Finley's firm is leading a class action lawsuit against the Marina Parkway complex. That's right, because they are the worst offenders of non-renewable energy east of the Mississippi. And for some reason, they're getting tax breaks for being energy efficient. Are you kidding me? We got to put a stop to this. So I need you to document every tenant in that complex so that we can calculate the ratio of power suckage to tenants on said properties. We need volunteers to knock on every door, on every window, on every gate. We got to get that information out. It is time to hold the Marina Parkway accountable. I have a question. Yes, sir. I assume your firm will earn a third of the damages if you win. Are we being paid for this canvassing? What are you, kid, pre law? Listen, I don't know about you. But the satisfaction of stopping an ice cap from melting or saving a nest of baby penguins is all the payment I need. Hey, hey. Where's Sam? Talk to him about coming to the deal? No. Um... Dion said it's a non-starter if he doesn't meet the supplier. He'll meet the supplier and me. We covered this. You're not in the right frame of mind. I've had plenty of time to get my hat straight. I'm not sending anyone else to scam a cold-blooded killer with a gun deal. Besides, we got bigger problems. Like what? Like I can't get the guns. What? Mike said it wouldn't be a problem. Wishful thinking. I don't have that kind of inventory, especially since I've had to keep a low profile lately. People... The wheels are in motion here. This is happening. I, I can't just hit rewind. We might not have to. Fee happens to know where one of her associates keeps his inventory. So you want to steal the guns? No. We'll sneak in, do the demonstration, sneak out. Mm-hmm. Okay, except that's crazy. Doesn't mean it won't work. All right, I'm calling Sam. We're definitely going to need some backup. Like con artists, spies sometimes find themselves in the unique position of selling things they don't actually own. To close the deal, you just need a believable story and a lot of confidence. Of course, when your cover ID is a weapons supplier who's crazy enough to deal with a murdering gangster, it doesn't hurt to act a little crazy, too. I trust Khalil. 
made it clear. We have a very small window to make this deal happen. I hear you're trying to make room for a new shipment, Mr. Turner. But you don't move good product at half price just because you want to clear floor space. So tell me, why the rush? You got me. <laughs> Chalk it up to a banking error, as in my banker is dead. Cash flow has been turned off, and I've made certain promises to certain Colombians that must be kept. So, uh, if we're gonna make this deal happen, we just need to do it right now. Show me what I'm buying. Where do we be at? Looks like Mike's doing okay, and they're just wishing he'd hurry up. He'll be fine. You are supposed to have your eyes on the road, make sure there are no surprises. Feast your eyes on this. USAS 12 shotgun. Take it for a test drive. Oh. You feel that? That is sexy, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, see, I got a silver 4x4 heading this way. I thought you said no one would be here. I can't control it if someone stops by the office on a Sunday. That guy makes a surprise visit here. Mike and Jesse are dead. What the hell is that? Gas grenade. I come prepared. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a moment? Hey. Yeah. Easy, fella. We'll be over soon. What's going on? Whose truck is that? Yeah. Michael, you almost had a party crasher. We stopped him, but we couldn't do it quietly. My associate was just asking about that truck. You better make up a good story. Well, thanks. That is great news. Well, just make sure the blast area is clear. Dion, I had that truck brought in for a little demonstration. Now, for the grand finale, you can't truly appreciate an RPG until you have held it in your arms like your firstborn child. Just imagine your enemies. Come down the street for a drive-by, and they don't know you got this in your arms. Make it sing, baby. Make it sing. Let's just say I'm gonna need to stop by an ATM. Whether it's getting a bureaucrat to hand over state secrets or a gangster to bring out the stolen money that will get them busted, spies know convincing people to take action when they don't want to is only half the battle. The hard part is making them do it on your schedule. Dion calls, he needs a week to pull together the money for the deal. A week? The man's sitting on a million dollars. A million dollars that we need him to bring out for your plan to work. He's stalling. He's just trying to buy time until he finds Dolly. She's the only person who knows he stole the cash. He'll want to kill her before he spends it. We're not waiting around for him to hunt her down. But what else can we do? He already heard the sales pitch. We need to make sure he knows he's got to act now. Mike, you push him too hard, you could get killed. That's why we need a backup plan, just in case it gets ugly. Jesse and I are going to talk to Dion. Jesse's keys are going to be bugged. I need you and Fee close by listening in. You know the players in Dion's crew better than us, so if you sense something going wrong, you can give me a heads up. I'll give you my stuff. Mr. Carver, when I said I needed this to happen now, I meant right now. I'm doing a deal tomorrow. With you? Or without you. What in the hell is that supposed to mean? Are you talking to other buyers? <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime deal, dog. What? Well, you thought we wouldn't explore other options? Come on now. I think you forgot to do your homework, dog. The last fool who backed out of a deal on me, he had a real nice funeral. Hey, D. Hey, man, Hector just called. Somebody saw your girl on Rose and Phil. Say she about to catch a fade, player. Really? Yes, sir. Hey, Billy. Yo, bring out a bottle of Dom. Oh, no. 
What? What did it just say? Hector is one of Dion's shooters. Sounds like the gang just found Dolly. She's supposed to be at Madeline's. I guess she left. They just said she was going to catch a fade. Catch a fade means... She's getting shot in the head? How do I get to the room? It's an alley at Fifth and Jensen. Go. <laughs> Banger from Overtown, who was never the biggest or uh, smartest, even ends up in a place like this. Vision. That's great, but I don't need your champagne. I need a deal. Relax. The last little obstacle to our business has been taken care of. So, I'm gonna do you one better than your deal, Mr. Turner. A hell of a lot better. Save your energy now, okay? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No. Come on. Come on. Dolly. Dolly, you stay with me, girl. She's gonna... No, 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 no. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Ricky, right now, we've got... Come on, go. Go. Part of being a good operative is knowing what to do when things go wrong. If an entire operation depends on a single witness to a crime and that witness gets murdered, you've got a hard choice to make. Risk more lives or cut your losses while you still can. I've got more bad news. Now that Dolly's out of the way, Dion didn't just go for the deal. He wants me to be his new weapon supplier. So, instead of going to jail, he's making a power play? Without Dolly to tell the truth, he could make up any excuse for how he got the money. And he's got nothing to fear. Jesse and I are meeting him at Stubby's tomorrow. Now, we're going to tell Dion our shipment was delayed, but we won't be able to keep up that charade for long. Why go to the meeting at all? To buy you time. You need to leave town tomorrow. Andre's funeral is Thursday. I know, but it won't be safe for you now. Once the gun deal goes bad, Dion will come after you for setting it up. Sam's working on a new ID. You get whatever cash you can. So Dion gets to walk around with a pile of cash and Andre's blood on his hands, and I'm supposed to get on a bus with a fake name and some pocket change? It's just until we figure out another way to take him down. You said this would work. You gave me your word. I'm sorry, Ricky. I am trying. It's not your fault, Mike. It just is what it is. Hey, Pete. Finley's army came through. It's like the kids narrowed down the hunt for ants into three condos. Great. We'll figure out which one's his right after I drop off Ricky's get-out-of-town package. Hey, Fee. I'm sorry things went bad. You know, it's just a bump in the road. Here, fake ID, credit cards, new cell phone. If I were you, I would head out west. Can you do me a favor? Tell Mike not to worry about making that meeting. Well, of course he's going. He wouldn't leave you hanging like that. You don't understand. He cannot go to that meeting. It's not safe. Well, what the hell are you talking about? Just give him the message. Please. Ricky, what do you need fertilizer for? Just reseeded the backyard. Wire cutters? Kerosene. <clears throat> Jesus, Ricky, you made a bomb. Like I said, 
tell Mike to skip the meeting. Screw that. You can tell him yourself. As a spy, you get used to the idea that today's enemy could be tomorrow's friend. Unfortunately, it also works the other way around. Under the wrong conditions, your friends could turn into adversaries, and the closer they are, the worse it is. We're running out of time, Ricky. Where is the ball? I said no. I'm sorry, but Dion's going to get what he deserves. Dion's not the only person in there. Everybody in there has blood on their hands. This isn't the right way, Ricky. Oh, no? Well, it's the only way. I'd take out all the overlord shot callers in one go. Maybe there'll be peace in Overtown. You do that, you will only make it worse. Dion shot Andre down like a dog. He left him in the street. And I want him to pay as much as you do. But don't let him turn you into a murderer. Andre wouldn't want that, and neither do I. So we just let Dion walk away. No, you let me take care of this. You trust me. I will take him down. But you gotta tell me where the bomb is. Ricky. There's a storage room in the ground floor right under where they're meeting. I snuck in through the alley in the back. There's a door there. Dion's calling me. What should I tell him? You tell him we're on our way. Shouldn't we be defusing the bomb? No, I don't want you to defuse it. We're going to make a tweak on it, use it to our advantage. It's back there, right behind those boxes. I really think we should just turn this thing off. Whatever Michael's planning, it won't work without an explosion. This baby has to blow. We'll just do it without killing anyone. There's enough nitrate in here to take out a city block. Where'd you learn to do this, Ricky? The internet. Don't quit your day job. A bomb's effectiveness comes down to two factors. The amount of fuel mixture used and the location of the charge. If you want to create the sensation of a big blast without the devastating effects, you need to reduce the explosives and place the charge in an open space instead of against a load-bearing wall. Do it right, and your explosion will still have all the bark, even if you take out most of the bite. She's ready. Now, finally, these are the guys I've been telling y'all about. The reason I call for this sit-down. Now, it ain't no secret that these are some tough times. And we lost our leader. Some of us have blamed each other. Now, I want to know who was behind it just as much as y'all do. But you know what I want even more? I want to put food on my table. Yeah. And I want to stop losing corners to every gang in Miami. Now, our enemies think the overlord's weak now. They think we so busy pointing fingers at each other that we can't handle our business. Now, I think it's time for us to set the record straight. This is Khalil and Mr. Turner. Thanks to these two, the overlords have a new revenue stream. Guns, fellas. And now the only crew bringing more heat than us is the National Guard. Uh, we have a problem, or well, let's talk outside kind of problem. Man, are you crazy? I call this meeting. I understand that. That's why you'll want to hear what I have to say. All right, check it out, fellas. Me and my boy right here, we're going to have a little chat, go over some of the finer points. Now, Khalil, he'll walk y'all through our first order. We'll be right back. Um, yeah. Anybody in here know anything about the USAS-12 automatic shotgun? All right. You got your little private moment. Now, what the hell going on? There's been a little snag. My guy over at the ATF says my warehouse is under surveillance. We can't go near it. This don't smell right. You trying to play me? I'm sorry to put a damper on your day. I'm the one whose entire inventory is off limits. I warned you what was gonna happen if you pulled out of the deal. Oh, you don't you don't believe you don't believe me. Here. Call this number. It's the ATF. 
You call that, you ask for Agent Torres. You say you're a concerned citizen. Hi. I'm gonna call your bluff. Moment of truth, Mr. Turner. Boy, Dion has made a play to run over town. Nah. Dion's crazy. And he'll never do When son law was beast in one shot, he just did. But you think he's lucky? Walking out of here a minute before the place went boom? He probably set it off with a cell phone or something. It's true. I look, I saw Dion dial his phone right before the blast. Dion's asking for a tow tag? Say, let's give it to him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I see. It's about Andre. About you murdering him? Yeah. What you gonna do, man? If I shoot me? Come on, Rick, you ain't got the stones, man. Hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you, Dion. But your gang is. They think you just tried to blow them up. Come on, man, you crazy. I'll tell them what really happened. They're gonna be looking for you, playboy. Why is that? His phone's not the one that triggered the bomb. Cops can track things like that. So what do you think your friends are gonna do when they find out? Who do you think they'll come for? Hey, Rick. I am so sorry, man. It hurts me to my soul what I did, but hey, hey, hey. I can make it up to you, man. I can get you money. Andre's little girls, man. I'll set them up for like anything you want. I, I want my money back. Can you make that happen? The only way you get out of this is to confess to Andre's murder. What, well, Rick? You think, you think the overlords can't find me in prison, man? Man, you might as well shoot me now. I won't last a day in there. Not if you cut a deal. You give up what you know about the Overlords. They'll put you in isolation, but at least you'll be alive. It's more than you deserve. So what's going to be, Dion? So are we handing you to the cops or throwing you to the wolves? Got a call from Sam's buddy over at the Miami PD. Dion made a full confession. He flipped on his gang. He's in solitary for the rest of his life. Wherever Andre is right now, I know he's smiling. Mike. <clears throat> Thank you for talking me out of what I wanted to do. I would have regretted it the rest of my life. Don't mention it. I'm glad you pushed for answers on your brother. I'm sorry I doubted it. Do you boys remember the summer you took the engine out of my lawnmower and built a go-kart? Andre drove that thing like a madman. No fear, no fear, Michael. I except until he lost control and then took out that rose bush. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Man had thorns in his eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> Andre never told you that he came back a week later with an apology and a new rose bush. He planted it all by himself. Mm. Well, you're not saying that. These are from Andre. Told you.
Thank you, Mrs. West. Breaking into a trained operative's place is an extremely dangerous thing to do. The consequences of getting caught range from jail time to death, making it crucial to protect your team at all costs. That's why it's best to schedule a break-in for a time when you're sure your target is going to be away from home, ideally because they're meeting with you. He just pulled up for you guys get in yet? Yeah? Just made it in. You find anything, you call me. Well, Anson has gone out of his way to keep this place a secret. We'll find something. Hey, Michael. I thought you'd be busy today, or am I already free and clear of the CIA systems? Not exactly. Hmm, maybe I overestimated your affections for Fiona. I need to know before I go in there, before I break into the CIA's computers for you, I need to know that there's an end to this. What do you want to guarantee? That everything's going to be okay? Would that make you feel better? That reminds me, I had the most interesting conversation with your mom in one of our sessions. This was touching. Let's stay actually. focused on the matter at hand. Do you remember the time that you poured all your dad's liquor down the drain? I don't need to know about this. Down the drain. I don't, need, hate to, I don't need to hear about drank. this. And you thought you could fix it. Your heart was in the right place, but it didn't work out so well, did it? No, it didn't. No, your dad went into a rage and your mom got the worst of it. The point is, little Michael always thought he could fix things. And I admire that. But at some point, you have to grow up, right? And you have to realize that try as you may. You can't keep your dad from beating your mom. You can't save Nate from his demons. And you can't prevent Max from bleeding out in your arms. And now, as much as it hurts, you have to do something really terrible. Don't worry, Michael. We're going to get through this together. Whether it's a stray hair arranged to detect someone's opened a drawer or a cabinet booby-trapped with explosives, skilled operatives know how to secure their hiding places. So if you're searching a pro's home, you can't just toss the place like a cop with a warrant. If you don't find any measures taken to counter intruders, that tells you something too. Usually that there's nothing worth finding. No computer, no clothes hanging in the closet. Why the hell does he come here? I think I know. This. What is that for? Free cable? No, it's an antenna for a combat network radio. The Army uses them to encrypt transmissions in the battlefield, so I'm thinking that Anson is relaying his signal from some government building's network. So he does that, he can reach out to anywhere in the world. Uh-huh. That's it? That's all that's here? A glorified telephone? Well, at least if we know how he's sending his messages, we can intercept him. Yeah, it's nothing that's going to help Michael right now. Intelligence agency computers make use of the most sophisticated anti-hacking techniques on the planet. But any system can be compromised if it's compromised from the inside. Hackers know you can't put a drive into a computer port without it registering. So if you need to sneak software into a system without leaving a trace, you need to hide it in another accessory. Wiring a thumb drive to the inner workings of a mouse gives you access without raising red flags after you're gone. Sometimes betrayal is as easy as pushing a button. But the hard part is being able to live with yourself after you've done it.